Hey everybody, welcome back to Business in a Box and we're talking about team trackers with Coda. So to date, we've seen bringing in our OKRs using Crosstalk, we've added all of our tables and created views to answer different questions, and we've created some dependencies in our task tracker. But today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about people. How can we summarize all of that information by people so we know what's kind of ahead of us there. So let's take a look. How I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna create a new page just so we have a nice clear area. So we'll call this our people summary. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a table. So we're gonna have it be a table, a new table here, and we'll call this the people summary. We're gonna call this the person. <laughs> and then we're gonna call this completed tasks and we're gonna call this uh, total tasks. So now we'll just change this to be a people column type. So we'll go ahead and choose people. And we're gonna add all of our team members, in this case, uh, Al, wonderful Andrew Stinger, fabulous Lauren Struthers, and kind of okay, Maria Marquis. And we'll go ahead and just expand that a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do is a little bit of formula magic. So let's start with a formula for the total tasks, the amount of tasks this person has. So to tell Coda, hey Coda, I'm ready to make a formula. You just type an equal sign, and then you say which table you want it to search from, which in this case is the uh, tasks table. And then we're gonna filter to where the assignee is equal to this row dot person. And then we want it to count. So let's break this particular formula down a little bit. I know it looks a little bit intimidating, but I like to think about every code of formula like a story. It's telling you closer and closer to what you're looking for. So what we're saying first is, hey Coda, take a look at that tasks table. You got me? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So now Coda, that you're in that task table, I want you to look at the assignee column. And I only want you to show me information where the assignee is equal to whoever the person is in this row. All right, got me, Coda? Following me? Yes, sir. All right, so the last step I want you to make, Coda, is to just count that for me. So now if I press enter, we see, wow, Maria Marquis has tons of tasks. These people don't. <laughs> so now what we could do is we could make a similar formula. So we're going to say, all right, equals. We'll say, take a look at that tasks table. Then we want to filter by the assignee is equal to this row dot person. And now we actually want to add another filter. So we're gonna do and the status is not equal to done. So we wanna look at the same thing we saw before, but also add that if the status is not done, then we're interested. And then the last step is we want you to count it. So in this case, oh, everybody else has tasks that are not done. At least I'm finishing my work, right? So now we can see the summary of that task information and if we went back to that all tasks area and uh, said, oh, you know what, this is actually done or this one is uh, not started, we would see all of those changes happen back in our people summary. So notice we've seen that, that whole detail there. Now Lauren has work yet to be done. Now, if we wanted to, we could also add a little percentage complete. So we could say percent complete. Let's actually just name this first, percent complete. And we're going to add another little formula here, equals, show me the completed tasks divided by the total tasks, and times 100, so I get a nice percentage there. We could also, if we wanted to, just change this to be a, an icon scale. So instead of it being a text thing, we could have it just go and be a number, and choose a scale, and we'll have the maximum be 10, and a little progress bar. And now what we could do is we could just adjust our formula. So instead of multiplying that by 100, just multiply it by 10 if we wanted to. So we see a nice little um, percent complete icon there. So that, that formula is really helpful in that way too. Now in this case, we use this uh, pattern to create a people summary table. But you can do this for each team, for each type of status, for each uh, OKR or goal that it's associated with, all by using that same uh, part of the formula that this row dot whatever that column is and that's gonna be the way that you can have to be all connected together With that have some fun start summarizing and I'll see you in the next session